If I cry, just mind your business, it will be okay. All right, so I don't even know where to start with this, but first, whoever doesn't know who I am, look, I'm already crying. <laughs> I'm Bethany, Hannah's first and best sister she'll ever have. No offense to other ones, love you. <laughs> you will forever be my best friend, and nothing has ever changed. I love you forever and ever. Charlie, 1,437 days ago, we were merely strangers. Little did I know on that Wednesday night, that my whole world was gonna change for the better. To my best estimate, we spent three hours together that April night, which ended with an awkward side hug. Even then, I did not know the greatness that was to come. We have accomplished so much, both together and apart, including your LLM, buying a home, and being parents of the two craziest dogs ever. <laughs> Our love has endured two moves, a pandemic and endless hours of studying. Each moment together has reinforced my belief in us. You are kind, soft-spoken, big-hearted, and hardworking. You fill every role of a man. I want to be my partner in life. You have been the most wonderful friend, fiance, and in a few hours, I will get to call you my husband. You are my home, my safety, and my everything. Here's to our forever. Hannah, I can't believe this moment's finally arrived. The feeling of love and gratitude are overwhelming as I get ready to take your hand in marriage. As we begin this next chapter, I'm excited for all the adventures that lie ahead. From the moment I met you, I knew there was something special about you. You're the most amusing, amazing, beautiful, special kind of person I've ever known, both inside and out. I'm so lucky and grateful to have you by my side. You're such an inspiration of strength, unwavering kindness, and intelligence. Today, I promise to cherish, honor, and love you for the rest of our lives. I promise to always be your best friend, your partner, your confidant, I celebrate with you when you achieve your goals and support you in everything you do and encourage you when you're feeling down. I'm so thankful to be marrying you today. You're my partner, my soulmate, my everything. As we get ready to celebrate surrounded by our loved ones today, I'm filled with a sense of wonder about the journey we're about to take together. I can't wait to see what the future has for us. And I know as long as we're together, we can conquer anything.
I commuted in from New Jersey. I drove. It was a, not a great idea. 13 and a half hours. It took me about 10 hours to realize that I left three really important things at home. All right? I left my shoes. I left all my wife's pillows. They yeah, asked me about that one later. And I left my speech. So we're going to try this. We're going to see how it goes. I have most of it memorized, I think. But we're going to wing it, so bear with me. All right, so I remember when Charlie and Hannah first got engaged, thinking, well, now I'm here. So it was a short engagement. That was, the, that was a joke. Come on. All right. I'm going to stop. I'll stop. No jokes. But seriously, I was thinking, I was like, you know, how do I want to do this speech, right? Do I want to make it as long and drawn out, kind of like how long it took you to propose to Hannah? <laughs> Charlie and I, growing up, were really, really close. So for those of you who don't know, we're only 15 months apart. I am older, even though he's taller. And, uh, you know, we did everything together. Right? Our mom and dad always dressed us identically. <laughs> we had the same crazy haircuts, right? And we, we did literally everything together. Everybody thought that we were actually twins. I think a couple people here came up to me today and said that we look alike. I, I guess we might, maybe? I don't know. You're taller still, but... One day, there was this tape that we have from probably like the early 90s of Charlie and I playing in our living room. And I take two tennis balls and I, I put them on my arms under my sleeves, and I get in front of the camera, right in the front, and I flex, and I say, I'm a muscle man. And in the background, you see Charlie looking for a tennis ball, and he finds one, and he puts it under his sleeve. By the time he gets up to the camera, it falls down under his arm, and he says, I'm a muscle man too. Well, I would like to take this moment right now, in front of everyone here, to take full credit for Charlie's love for working out and lifting weights. <laughs> Hannah, maybe, maybe I'll take some of the blame too, right? start hearing little by little in the very Charlie way we start hearing about this girl Hannah little by little we're not allowed to ask any questions right? and we definitely weren't allowed to see any pictures right so little by little we start hearing Hannah's name more and more and then Charlie's friends start meeting Hannah but we still just basically know her name and that she's from Tennessee and I remember the first time I met Hannah and I saw how happy the two of you were together. That's kind of when I knew you weren't coming back. You know, I knew as much as you, you loved tomato pie and going to the shore and driving your truck through a lake, this was, this was his home now, right? And, and he had found somebody really great in Hannah. And uh, most importantly, above all else that you and Charlie share in common, you both love estate sales. I don't think I've ever met anybody who's loved the state sales as much as I, I think Hannah does. I want to raise our glasses to Charlie and Hannah. It's going to be real corny, by the way, so just follow me with this. To Charlie and Hannah, I am so happy for the two of you, happy to see the life that you guys are building together, and I hope that your life together is like an estate sale, and that as the years go by, as you two get older together, you still find new things to love and cherish in each other. Cheers, salute. While living in Tennessee, Charlie and Hannah drove to visit, but really it was to look for a dog. When he came back the next day, Charlie picked up, uh, to pick up the dog, he kept looking at his phone. He had, a lot of, he had a look of whimsical excitement. We love you, Charlie, but I knew it was something different. He had just met someone. Things were going great, it seemed different. It was different. Anna, thank you. Thank you for making Charlie as happy as he's ever been. Thank you for calling my parents to check in. We all know uh, talking about feelings is not Charlie's strong suit. <laughs> thank you for bringing the dogs into his life. Thank you for being there, and thank you for the future being theirs. As this new journey begins, I know that I will always be watching as a face in the crowd, nervous, excited, but this time, I think he hit the winning shot and won the game.
Charlie and Hannah for you. Hannah, Charlie's for you. We had it from four o'clock from here. That was actually really good.